Hi, I'm Gary Knoll. Once again, I welcome you to a classroom on the air. Topics that help us live a longer, happier, and healthier life. Today, something that is very important, but is rarely studied or appreciated or applied. Protecting your heart. All of us have lost friends and family members to different diseases, and heart attack is the number one killer in the United States. So what can we do? It's really simple. It's not complicated. Understand that you have to feed the heart. But we never think about feeding the heart, do we? We think about feeding our appetite. I want something salty and crunchy. Oh, fried chicken, french fries, right? Or I want something juicy and, and meaty. Oh, barbecued ribs, okay. Or I want something sweet. Oh, how about a milkshake? Uh, I want something a little, uh, a little salty, crunchy, and a little tangy. How about a pizza? So you see, when we think about what our body needs, we rarely think about antioxidants, vitamin A and B and C and, and quercetin and all the other nutrients that our body requires. We don't think about having strong bones and taking in calcium and magnesium in about equal amounts, and also potassium. We don't think about that. And it's important because potassium and sodium have to be in balance in the body. It's called the sodium-potassium pump. And if you start eating too much salt, and we do, then we don't have enough potassium, then salt can get into the tissues and cause edema and swelling. And yet people will be sitting there with really swollen legs, won't realize what they're eating is causing it or drinking. And when we drink, we don't want to drink orange juice, grapefruit juice. No, we want to drink orange drink and grapefruit drink. Why? Because it's sweetened. It's, it's not real orange juice, not real grape juice. And we don't like to eat strawberries. We want strawberries that are loaded with sugar. So you see, we don't really have a taste for natural foods as they come from nature. For example, when was the last time someone says, uh, give me a, a medium, just a medium hamburger. No bun, no lettuce, no tomato, no mayonnaise, no mustard, no ketchup, nothing else, just that. No cheese. Well, people don't do that. A hot dog, just give me the hot dog, nothing more. Give me the steak. I want nothing on the steak. No salt, no pepper, no Worcestershire sauce, no, um, no A1, nothing. Just, just, the, no. Give me a piece of boiled chicken. Leave the skin on. I'll eat it, even though it's kind of rubbery and chewy. So what we do is we take something that begins to be unhealthy because it's overprocessed, it's denatured, and it damages us, and it's deadly. And then we disguise its taste with artificial food enhancers like MSG, monosodium glutamate. And then we add in all these other chemicals, sugar and salt. So many products contain them. But it's not really listed. And all of those are what our body has to use. Well, your body is going through cycles of development. It needs nutrients. Rarely do we care about what we eat. We care about, are we full? Are we satisfied? Do we have satiety? Do we feel comfortable when we get out of a chair? Or do we feel bloated and gaseous and constipated? Or do we get up and we feel trim? Or we could still eat more, but we don't. Do we go out for a walk after we uh, eat and do a nice brisk walk for a half hour to help our digestion, keep our blood sugar normal? No. No, we don't. More often than not, we eat, and then we go and sit or lie down. And then we have a nation that's morbidly obese. It is not humanly possible to be overweight and healthy, and yet we make excuses. We have a whole new phenomena of people being proud of their obesity, morbid obesity, and saying how they love themselves. Love yourself. We're with you. 
But don't think that we're all foolish enough to think because you love yourself and you're morbidly awake that you're healthy. You're not. You're going to die, and you're going to die sooner. And you're not going to die quickly. You can end up with diabetic neuropathy because diabetes comes with being overweight or prediabetes. And you're going to have joint pain because of all the pressure and all the highly acidic foods that you're consuming in your joints. And you could end up with gangrene and the loss of toes, the loss of an ankle, a foot, a leg. It happens all the time. Or diabetic neuropathy. No matter what you do, you're still in pain. Your vision's going to go. Yeah, all this happens. You're going to have really fatigue. And that poor heart about the size of a fist, it doesn't grow in proportion to your body. So it has to pump harder. And where you should have a resting pulse of like 60, it's now 100, 105. I just counseled a person, it was 105. We got it down to 70 in three months. And this person was walking around at almost 300 pounds, a woman 70 years of age, no exercise, with seven killer diseases, seven different diseases. Each one could have ended her life. They're all gone now. And I said the most important lesson you can learn is not that we were able to turn around and get rid of every disease. In my world, that's relatively easy. It's if you don't deal with what caused it, you're going to put it all back on again. And then you may not be lucky at dodging that bullet, a stroke, a heart attack. Because when you have a high pulse, you're going to have high blood pressure. When you're under stress, high blood pressure. So... Deal with everything that can cause your heart and your arteries to be damaged. This person, even though her heart now, she has normal blood pressure, normal blood sugar. Her blood sugar, she was on nine medications and still wasn't able to get her blood sugar, her blood pressure, her pain under control. She had acute renal failure in both kidneys and other diseases that I won't go into. But now her blood sugar is 68. That's normal with no medications. Her blood pressure, which was 222 or 212, that's deadly, especially at that weight, it's now normal. Normal, because she's exercising. She's walking five miles a day and getting faster. She's lost 80 pounds. She's learning how to eat only foods that are non-inflammatory. What are your inflammatory foods? Meat, and dairy, sugar, artificial sweeteners, caffeine, uh, carbonated and sugar loaded with high fructose corn syrup, soft drinks, healthy diet. Yeah, she got rid of all the inflammatory. She's now using mindful meditation to keep herself calm instead of overreacting, as many people do. And then she's taking in the nutrients that feed the heart, give it energy such as L-carnitine. It helps the brain and it helps the heart. Increases the use of what we call adenosine triphosphate, which is the, if you were to put a wood log onto a fire, that wood would be the, uh, what L-carnitine does. Coenzyme Q10 does the same. Vitamin E and tocotrienols. Pomegranate concentrate pomegranate unsweetened concentrate juice also repairs the arteries, repairs the endothelium, the lining of the arteries. And then taking in celery juice with cucumbers and lemon helps to slightly alkalize the blood, taking away the pain and thinning the blood because the thicker your blood, the more likely you are to have red cells aggregate, clump together, causing a clot. And having spirulina, chlorella, and wheatgrass juice, having apples, taking the skin of four apples and blending them, rich in quercetin and polyphenols, throwing in blueberries into your diet and raspberries, strawberries, and wild blueberries are best. These also help the heart. Vitamin C thins the blood, is an antioxidant and helps the heart. Yes. And then you have the B complex, which keeps your blood inflammatory markers down like homocysteine, C-reactive protein, fibrinogen, triglycerides, 
LDL cholesterol keeps them down. Vitamin B1, vitamin B6, B12, folic acid, and vitamin C help protect your heart and prevent heart attack and stroke. Exercising, 10,000 steps per day. And you can get yourself a measure. I'll show it one. This is mine. This, this, you simply reset it at zero. You clip this on to your, you know, your jogging shorts. And at the end of the day, you take a look. Did you put in 10,000 steps? That's about four miles. If you did, good for you. Go between ten and 15,000 steps per day. And then spend about a half hour a day in mindful meditation, just sit quietly and don't allow any negative thoughts into your mind and see how you feel at the end of the day because you're bringing down your blood pressure and your cortisol. When you're anxious, when you're angry, when you're stressed, when you're depressed, cortisol goes up. Your fight or flight hormones go up. That's deadly, deadly. Literally, stress can cause a heart attack. So you see, that's how you protect yourself. Get rid of the, the pro-inflammatory and bring in the anti-inflammatory. Turn down the inflammation in the body. And then all of the berries and the raw foods and the salads and the sprouts and the microgreens that you eat, and the raw nuts, walnuts, pine nuts, pistachios, yeah, almonds, macadamians, Brazil nuts, filberts, yeah, cashews, they're all good for you. If you get them raw, and ideally raw sprouted. Not difficult, it just requires an attitudinal change. Stop the impulsive behavior of routinely doing things that are wrong. Get out of that cycle and see how much better you feel, how much more alive you feel. Use your muscles every day. When you're power walking, with every step, make a fist and relax. Fist and relax. Fist and relax. That's hitting all these muscles up here. You can do it. You can add years, healthy years, onto your life. And your brain will also thank you. Because it helps prevent inflammatory elements in the brain like alpha... Uh, well, let's go to a different one. I would say one of the most important things to prevent with the diet I just told you in exercise, and a good B-complex is the amyloid plaques that go throughout the brain, and that's what causes dementia, of which Alzheimer's is just one type. So that's how you help your heart and help your health to live a longer life. You deserve it, don't you? Go to prn.live, prn.live, if you've missed my live program at noon every day, then go to the archives and download the programs. A lot of good information. A lot of life-saving information. Go to GaryAndAll.com to get up to date on all the hard-hitting and original investigative reports and all the documentaries, everything else I'm doing. Pass this forward, okay? Let someone else benefit from it in addition to yourself. Have a nice day. And thank you for coming in. Are you tired of closed-minded programming? Well, look no further than PRN.Live, the home for progressive voices.